There were days where we were like stopped down for an hour feeding the baby Cheerios and trying to get her to stop crying and Ellen was singing songs. Was there a popular song? Oh, a horse I, am, I am a horse riding on a turtle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, am, I had a horse, horse and a turtle, a turtle and it was just a horse that was riding on a, on a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make that up? She made it up. Of course, made up of course I made it up. Yeah, that song. was all me. Yeah. Lula is the story of a rootless young woman who, after a chance encounter in a hotel with a boozy, negligent mother, impulsively kidnaps the child, although she feels like she's rescuing her child. When I first moved out to LA, I worked as a nanny, and I had really weird experiences with a bunch of mothers that I felt like should never have been mothers, and one in particular who had never been alone with her toddler and had this whole like crazy backstory and really considered stealing her baby and didn't, but wrote a movie about it instead. Cool. What was it like sort of working on set with a kid all the time? Was Poor like... Ellen. Um, no, you know, I'll be like fully honest. Yeah, so in this movie, a 15 month old is basically my co star. Right. You know, it's not just like there's a baby in a couple scenes. So obviously, your first impulse is I'm taking care of this kid. Right. And the acting thing will happen after that. You had no choice but to be in the present moment because you could never anticipate what, what your, what your little doing. friend's going to do. Ellen you know? was a rock star. I mean, there was a subway sequence one day where we were there and Ellen held that baby for like 12 hours. I mean, it was completely, well, well no, the baby didn't work for 12 hours. Different babies because the baby did not work for 12 hours. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's, no. Be clear. Let's be clear. The baby did not work for 12 hours. Yeah. What kind of environment did it create to kind of have a lot of women working on this film? I didn't set out to hire all women. <laughs> what was interesting is I really just hired the artists that I wanted to work with. And I remember when we left on the scout on the first day, I looked around the van and I realized we were all women. And that was a really crazy moment because it was empowering, I think, to be at the monitor and look around and realize it had become a female movie, even though we didn't set out to do it. Please join us in the ring. Okay, all right. Just come stand uh, right there. And then you get a prize, right? There is a trophy. Oh. Oh. You're getting oh. closer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best. Oh. Did you get it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Luna for the win. Oh. Congratulations. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks, Hollywood, Hollywood Reporter. Reporter. I love how okay, when so you do it with someone, you like both yell. <laughs> All caps. Thanks, I'm Hollywood Reporter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>